Hey guys, Wagwan, Wagwan, it's your girl Shanice and I'm so happy to welcome you guys back to Jam and Cuisine. If you're new, welcome, welcome and thank you so much for joining. In this video, I will show you guys how I made this delicious lasagna roll-ups. Let's jump right into the recipe, guys. So as usual, guys, I will leave a list of all the ingredients we're working with down below in the description box. I got you guys. So the very first thing we're going to do is cook our lasagna noodles. So I'm adding my noodles to my boiling water and I'm going to cook it for around 8 minutes. It doesn't have to be cooked all the way through because it's going to be finished in the oven it's gonna be cooked in this delicious sauce that we're gonna make so don't worry about cooking it all the way through so we're gonna set our pasta to the side to drain and to our skillet we're gonna add two tablespoons of oil and we're gonna saute a small red onion once the onion gets nice and translucent a little bit we're gonna go ahead and add four cloves of garlic we're gonna saute this together and lower our flame because we don't want to burn the garlic after around two minutes I'm gonna to go ahead and add my meat and I'm working with ground turkey for this recipe you can use ground beef uh, sausage ground chicken whatever protein you prefer so we're gonna go ahead and add our protein and we're gonna allow it to get some color we're gonna mix everything in together so after around 8 to 10 minutes all the meat should be browned at this time we're gonna season this baby so I'm gonna go in with around half a teaspoon of dried oregano. I'm also gonna add around half a teaspoon of dried basil. We're gonna follow that up by adding a dash of red crushed pepper. This is optional if you don't like spice. This is just gonna give it that little kick. We're also gonna add some dried thyme. If you have fresh thyme, that's even better. Let's not forget our salt. I'm gonna go in with around half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm also gonna add a whole pack of Sazon. This is optional. I just love to add this to everything that I'm cooking. It just gives it so much more flavor, trust me. And then we're just gonna mix that all in together. Once all our seasonings are combined together, I'm gonna go ahead and add a cup of tomato sauce. And then I'm gonna add four tablespoons of tomato paste. We're gonna mix all this in together. This is smelling really good, guys. I wish you could smell my kitchen right now. So now guys, we're going to lower our flame and cover this pot. We're going to allow all these wonderful flavors to come together. So I'm just going to let it sit for around 20 minutes and then we're going to come back and take a look at it. So after that 15 minutes of simmering, this is how we're looking. I'm also going to add some more sauce to this. This is optional, but I want to ensure that my turkey is just juicy right throughout. So I will be using around half a cup of this sauce and then we're going to simmer it for an additional 20 to 30 minutes. And in the meantime, we'll work on our cheese. So here I have a cup of fresh mozzarella. A lot of people use ricotta cheese. I'm working with what I have today. So to that, I'm gonna add an egg beaten and we're gonna mix that in really well. Next, we're gonna add two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a quarter cup of heavy cream. We're gonna mix this in really well and then we're gonna set it to the side. After 20 minutes of simmering, this is how our ground turkey is looking. It is smelling so delicious. I'm just gonna add two tablespoons of white sugar to that. This is optional, but it's just to cut the acidity of the tomato sauce we used. It's just gonna give it that perfect balance. So now to the fun part, guys. We're not making traditional lasagna. These are roll-ups. So we're gonna layer our cheese component first that we just made. And then we're gonna follow that up by adding or protein on top. As you guys can see, I'm using two noodles at a time because I really don't have the space. So we're basically gonna repeat the same process on each of our lasagna noodles. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my beautiful ground turkey with this beautiful sauce onto the cheese. Guys, don't worry if it gets messy. There isn't really any right way to do this, so take a deep breath. <laughs> 
So once we've added our protein with the sauce on top, we're basically gonna just roll the noodles. It's very easy. And it should look a little something like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. So we're just gonna repeat this process with all our lasagna noodles and then I'm gonna put it in my baking tray. I'm actually using an aluminum foil pan. You can use your casserole dish, whatever baking dish you have. So we're gonna set it up in our baking dish and our oven should be preheated at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around 190 degrees Celsius. So guys, ensure that you save some of your meat and sauce to add on top of your lasagna roll-ups. This is gonna ensure that the flavor is right throughout. So we're gonna try to cover the entire top with sauce. And I also saved some of my roll Roasted garlic sauce. I'm also gonna add the remaining of that on top as well. Now I'm gonna add some shredded mozzarella followed by some fresh parsley on top. I'm gonna cover with aluminum foil and we're gonna bake for around an hour, checking occasionally. And then we're gonna broil it on low, uncovered for seven minutes. And it should look a little something like this. I wish you guys could smell my kitchen right now. I wish you guys could get a taste of this. It is so delicious. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. It's very easy. I think the kids would love it. Everyone would enjoy it. And of course, guys, you could use the same recipe to make some traditional lasagna. It's packed with flavor. It's packed with love. The sauce is so delicious. It tastes as if it was simmering for four hours. Guys, if you really like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Hit that bell so you do not miss out on these recipes guys thank you so much for all the love for all the support guys walk good stay safe big up on yourself and see you guys in the next video until next time